You see this, ladies? You see this? I today want to talk to you about the importance of having the appropriate tools. This is the anchor, the cornerstone, the necessity for having a good afro. It's your afro pick. And you see this is an old school one, got the fist at the end. You gotta have the fist at the end. <laughs> So anyway, how are you today, Emphasis? I hope you're well. Excuse my voice. I think I partied a little too hard this weekend. But um, today I want to talk to you, as I said, about two things. One is having the appropriate tools. And two, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my hair store. Okay? So um, one, the number one tool, of, as I was saying, is having a good Afro pick. Two, of course, is having the right conditioner and the right oil. Now, I'm not going to get into products today because I'm actually on a journey to find the perfect products, but I'll get more back to that in a minute. But what I want to talk to you about is my hair story a little bit. I'm going to date myself. Okay, I'm 30. I'll just go ahead and tell you I'm 36. Okay, so we can get that out the way. Um, but my hair story, I actually originally did the big chop in college in like 90, I want to say 94 or 95. Yes, I already told you I'm old school, right? Uh, so I did the big chop then, and I had short hair for several years, and then I grew locks. And I had locks for about three years, and then I cut my locks, went short again in about like, I want to say 99, 2000. So since then, I've been natural. Um, well, I did have a phase where I did try a texturizer for maybe a year or two, and that didn't go very well. Um, and then I told you recently I've been going crazy over these um, these uh, protective styles and you know trying the different weaves and all of that stuff. So um, here I am today. Now the issue is that my hair really shouldn't. I've been watching some of you all's videos and you all are fabulous by the way. Um, but one of the things is like I was thinking. I said I need to have a hair rebirth. Because after this current, you know, when I told you I had the weave for three months and how my hair just grew, I was like, okay, I really need, my hair should be longer than this considering I've been on this last round of natural hair for about eight or nine years. Um, so anyway, I've been watching you all's videos and I decided that I am out, I'm hunting for the perfect products. Now, I'm just going to tell you just some of the basics of what I use right now, and then we'll I'll come back to that on the next webisode because I think I'm almost out of time. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good on time. Okay, so it is my three essentials are having a good conditioner, as I said, having a good oil, um, having the right pick. Now, just going to this, I did blow it out. There is a way you can get this look without necessarily having to blow, um, blow dry it. But, you know, of course, that blow drying gives it the extra just like, bam, you know. So, I don't know. Let me give you all a side view. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, Empresses, I was just thinking about you today. Again, all of you who stopped by to say hello to me, I really appreciate it. I'm actually going out today on the town. There's a lot of fun parties. It's a Labor Day weekend. So, maybe I'll get some clips of some of the parties I go to. But in the meantime, stay beautiful, stay fabulous, stay empowered, and know that you are amazing no matter what. Give thanks. Mm, I'll talk to you soon.